guys, it's Tina and I am back. And it is that time of the year again. And that time of the month as well, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for the time of the year when everybody is doing their Sephora VIB sale haul. And of course, I am no different because after all, I'm a hauler. Yes, I am a hauler. Hauler, okay, hauler alert. Ah, I like that, hauler alert. That's me. I love watching haul videos, guys, and I love doing them for you as well since I buy way too much makeup. Like, I have way too, let's declare this out right now. I have way too much makeup, way more than I'll ever use, but I just love getting new makeup and I love the feeling of it. And I know it's an addiction. Like, you don't have to tell me it's an addiction because there is no reason that I should be getting a rush from getting deliveries and opening boxes and seeing new makeup and going like, oh my god, swatching them. And then putting them in the collection and then never using them or using them very rarely. But that rush of the new makeup, huh? who else is an addict here? It's alright, it's alright, we're together in this. We can be addicts together and we're, it's, gonna, we're, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But today I want to share with you the things that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. Now this bag is empty because I transferred everything over into a bucket. And here is my bucket of goodies. And this is all the makeup that I picked up during the VIB sale. And I also picked up a bunch of products during the friends and family sale that was actually a couple of days or a week or so before the VIB sale. And I was able to include them in my recommendations video as well because I discovered some great products guys and I can't wait to share them with you. But I'm gonna include all the items that I picked up during the actual Sephora VIB Rouge sale which ended last week and then also during the friends and family sale. So the VIB sale is this weekend and I'll try to get the video up. It ends on Monday. So Monday the 14th. So if you are gonna pick up anything from this sale you have until Monday, hopefully I'll get this video up. So in case you're interested in anything that I hold, you can go ahead and get the discount on it. And it is 20% off taken off the ring so we can do swatches and get all involved. But I will run through the products that I picked up. I did pick up quite a few hair products and I think I will go through those first because those are the larger items so I'll get them out the way. And here is my heavy, heavy box of hair care products that I picked up during the sale. I didn't go for skincare this year. Normally, I would pick up skincare, but honestly, the skincare products that I have been enjoying are not available through Sephora. And I've been happy with my skincare products, and I've been very happy with how my skin is reacting to those. So I can share the, um, the products that I've been loving for my skin. I can share that at a later date. Actually, I was planning to do that, do a skincare video. So you guys can see what I've been using for my skin and it's very simple. My skincare regimen is not 10 products and 40 other masks and stuff and serums. It's like three products and I'm done. Like literally that's, it's not three exact products but three steps but we'll get into that at another time. But I went for hair care products because my hair has been, you know what, my hair is good. It doesn't misbehave, it's not crazy. But I've been looking for products that work on my hair because I can't just pick up Pantene Pro-V and go with it and it works for me. I need products that are going to nourish my hair but not make them oily and greasy because my hair gets very oily very quickly. And I try to wash my hair only once a week because I don't want to dry out the cuticles and, and add damage to my hair. And I already heat style my hair so of course I need products that are going to condition my hair and help it recover from heat styling. I also need products that are gonna be good for colored hair. Even though I haven't colored my hair in a while, I still don't want the lighter part of my hair to become orange or brassy, so I need products that won't dry out those areas and won't get them into that brassy, orangey tone. So, I am okay with spending a little bit more on hair care, and this was the perfect time to go ahead and grab some products. And I grab a ton of, a ton of products from Verb, which is a new hair care brand that I discovered. I was browsing through the website on Sephora and this kept popping up. And I went through the products and they weren't that expensive. And I was like, I am on board. Listen, I will try you out. So I grabbed these two gigantic bottles. These are in a set. 
So it comes with these two products, which is the hydrating shampoo and the hydrating conditioner. And the hydrating shampoo says mild plus cleanse plus color safe. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. I needed to cleanse my hair, be mild but color safe at the same time. And it's hydrating, so that's great. And this one is no parabens, no gluten, no sulfate. So that's perfect. And it's like, it's not that expensive for that. And then the verb conditioner, this is the hydrating one. It's enrich, restore, and soften. And this is what I actually used to wash my hair today, well, yesterday. And I let it, no, I washed it today. Yes, I washed it today. Let it air dry, and then I flat ironed it. And look at how my hair, look at this. Oh my god, and it's not greasy or oily, and I didn't have to add a lot of shining products to this. So I really love how this product has really nourished my hair without being like greasy or too thick or too heavy. And it also smells nice. It's a fresh scent. It's a light scent. It smells to me like a salon smells. So you know how when you get your hair done at a salon, they just have these products that smell like shampoo and conditioner. They're fresh. They're light. They're not heavily perfumed or heavily scented. It's not pumpkin spice or something. It just smells like shampoo. It smells like a salon. I love that. So that's what these smell like. There's nothing in like crazy about the smell of them at all. It's just light salon shampoo smelling <laughs> products. And I love that. I also grabbed the volume conditioner and the volume shampoo. And this one says full body color safe and cleanse. Again, no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates. And then the weightless lift plus soften volume conditioner. So I got these because I wanted something that wasn't going to weigh my hair down. Because even though my hair is thick and crazy, I still, I want to tame it. But at the same time, I don't want it to be dead. Especially when I'm wearing it curly. I want it to have more volume and body. And... So I got the smaller version of those because I don't think I'm going to use them as much. But I got those and I also use them and I like them. I like both of them. Like to me both of them soften my hair. They It feels nice. And just look at this. Will you look at this? Oh my god. And for anybody that has been complimenting my hair, thank you so much. It is growing. It is now... Um, under boob length so that's great I want it to go at least six more inches before I start like really cutting it but six more inches and I've been wearing it straight a lot I heat style it with a t3 flat iron it's the one and a half inch I think it's the smaller flat iron and it, it really does keep my hair nice and shiny of course I have more split ends and damage on the ends because it's heat styling of course but Hopefully these products will help me. Now, oh, I also got a second volume shampoo, apparently. I also got the full body and plus weightless lift volume spray. This is a spray that's meant to amplify fine hair for a full flexible finish. And you spray this on towel dried hair and then style as usual. I actually use this for my curly style and I like it because it's not sticky or tacky. It doesn't feel like it weighs my hair down. And I'm going to try it for straightened styles as well and see how that goes. But I am so excited about those products, guys, because my hair, I use them twice so far. I use the volume one and I use the hydrating system separately. And I've been liking them so far. So we'll see how that goes. I also got the Ghost Oil, which is a smoothing Moringa. Is it Moringa or Moringa? It's probably Moringa. I, I like that better. Smoothen Moringa Blend and plus weightless hair oil. And this is just a shining oil. It's a vanishing daily restorative that revitalizes hair from roots to ends. Okay. So it's supposed to promote radiant shine and smooth frizz. So this came in the set as well with the condition, the big bottle of conditioner. It came in a little sample size like this, so I am excited about those as well. I also, oh, I have more things in here. Okay, I also grabbed another smaller hydrating shampoo. So I have a lot of shampoo, oh my goodness. All right, so I have a lot of shampoo from Verb. And I also grabbed the Shape plus Definition plus Defrizz plus Repair Curl Cream. So, Another thing I'm interested in for when I wear my hair curly, 
Again, these were like $14. They weren't very expensive, but it was good to still get the 20% off. So we're gonna see how this one goes. I did get sent a couple of products from Briogeo and I also purchased a couple of products from Briogeo because I wanted to try Briogeo for the longest. I've been hearing about it here on YouTube. People are going crazy. And I got sent uh, their deep conditioning mask. Don't like it at all. It actually made my hair feel drier and it felt like straw. So I don't like that at all. I didn't find it hydrating. And for a mask, I expected it to be... I expected my hair to feel a lot softer. It did not. So skip on that. But I used the Curl Charisma... I think it's the defrizzing gel. Yeah, I love that. That I purchased myself and I would repurchase that because it did leave my waves looking defrizzed but it wasn't sticky like a gel gel like a heavy gel it was actually a gel that wasn't crunchy and crispy so that I really liked and I tried that as a sample and that's why I went out and bought the full size and then they also have a volume spray and a conditioning spray both of them I like I wouldn't repurchase the volume spray because I have the verb one but I would repurchase the hydrating spray and it's funny because everybody that gets those products and reviews them they're like oh it smells so great and I'm like where in fact I don't like the smell at all there's a, something about the smell that's not that great but everybody's going crazy and I'm like I don't smell it what are you guys smelling but anyway those are very pricey, so if you wanted to try something out from them, definitely go ahead and try now because they're expensive. But I feel like the Verb products are better and they're cheaper, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, I grabbed also the hydrating mask, and I love using hair masks as conditioner versus an actual conditioner because I feel like the masks are a little bit more hydrating for me. So I got this one. Hopefully it's great. I also got their Stronghold Plus Texture Forming Fiber and their Flexible Hold Subtle Shine Sculpting Clay. Now the Forming Fiber dries matte and this one has a shine to it. The Sculpting Clay has a shine to it. Um, we'll see how these go. I just need minimal edge control for these little edges right here to make sure they're slick and they're sleek. So we'll see how that goes and I got their ghost hairspray which says weightless medium hold plus brushable texture. I don't use hairspray. I don't like hairspray. I've never liked hairspray and I don't really need hairspray but we'll use this one and see how that goes and I got samples of the Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil, 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 <laughs> invisible oil heat UV protective primer. So I got a couple of samples of those. I did get one more thing for my hair. This is the Madam C J Walker Beauty Culture Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask, and this one is hydrating and conditioning. This, I love this so much. Now I had hauled a couple of products from this brand months and months and months ago. And the PR for this company reached out to me and actually sent me a couple more products for me to try. And I would repurchase them now, but I am still using them. I still have a lot of product left, so I'll repurchase them in the next sale because they are pricey little buggers. And I have repurchased a couple of the products since I got them last time. I purchased, I think, two or three of these already. This is another my backup, but... I I need a sale on these because these are pricey and I guess I don't really mind repurchasing products from this brand even though they are pricey and it's better for me to get them on a sale because I love this mask and there are a couple of products that I I've been loving from the brand as well like their scent and shine coconut oil nourishing and moisturizing um, oil this I love this and it smells so good and again you only need a little bit of this so I've been loving this and when the spring sale comes around I'll probably repurchase that because by then I'll probably need a little bit more of this so I'll repurchase this I'm also on my third one of these this is the curl enhance in Jamaican black castor oil and Morumuru oils this is the edge control and shape paste love this guy it is so so good. It controls my edges without being too tacky or too sticky or just too much. I don't feel like I need to wash my hair the next day or two days after that because it's so tacky. This is actually a great edge control that isn't 
to controlling like don't control me but it's not too controlling and I, this is my third one so I'll get this again I have quite a lot left and you only need a little bit and again this smells so good now this is what I expect when people tell me that products smell good that is what I'm expecting like something to smell as good as that but yeah Briogeo doesn't smell that good I also love their silken and blowout cream this is for priming and protecting and this is the Broshsika seed and shea oils love this as well and I haven't gone through half of this yet and I use it to blow my hair up so it'll keep it straight through the whole week and it really does keep that straight effect to it so I really love that as well so I'll repurchase that when the time comes around again but they've been lasting me a long time so even though they're pricey I don't mind repurchasing them because they last you such a long time except for the mask because I use I think I use too much of that I'm gonna be skimpy when I'm using that because that is pricey and I can't be just purchasing that all the time oh my god but yeah love that thing now let's go ahead and jump into the makeup products and I really did not pick up that much again like I mentioned I've just been hauling non-stop so I have way too much makeup anyway so I don't really have this craving for more makeup because I really want to get use out of what I already have so we'll just run through these probably really quickly right one of the first things I picked up is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. And this minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oil, mattifies shine. But it's the newer packaging, it's just in a little tube like this. And this is my favorite pore minimizing primer. It really does a great, why am I opening it? It really does a great job of filling in pores and I've been having some pore situations right here. Right here. So definitely loving this and it's very pricey it's so expensive like Dr. Brandt like what are you doing so grab this guy this I recommend for you if you have large pores and you just need to fill in the zone you know what I'm saying I also grabbed the Murad oil control mattifier this one is also a sunscreen so it has SPF 15 which is not that much I mean really let's let's focus here it says immediately mattifies and helps control oil for up to eight hours, which is not that much. Apply liberally to face, neck, and chest. Really? Mm -mm. Okay, I've been hearing about this product. I've heard people talk about Murad a lot. So I'm going to try this guy out and let you know how it goes. I also grabbed this one from the Sephora brand. This is the 8-hour mattifying moisturizer sunscreen. And this says SPF 20. Now the Sephora brand has been good to me so far with the products I've tried so I'm gonna try this out. We will see how this one goes. Again, it's a sunscreen. Oh, this one has a pump, a sunscreen. It's a sunscreen. This one has the pump. Okay, great. So I've been big on sunscreen. I've been trying out different sunscreens and I just wanted to try out the Sephora brand because like I said, I've just enjoyed their products a lot. I also picked up their Sephora Beauty Amplifier. This is a ultra smoothing primer. Now this one I also tried. This has a little pump as well. This is just a silicone primer. If you like silicone primers and you wanted a cheaper version, there is one at Sephora. I don't care for it. It's it. I don't love silicone primers, just like straight silicone. I don't like them because they don't make my skin feel that great. So. Yeah, I don't like that one at all. And then I got this one here, which I was searching for primers on those. I don't know, like my, I've never been big on primers, but I've just been discovering some great ones. So I decided to go ahead and jump in and get some more, if that makes sense. So I grabbed this one. This one is a, it's either Korea. Yeah, it's, it's a Korean brand. So it's the J1 Jelly Pack. It says dramatic firming skin with improved elasticity and pore smoothing doesn't that sound exciting I mean I'm, I'm getting dusty and old so my skin needs some help with the the usefulness so I'm gonna try you if you say firm and honey I'm gonna try you and it says pore smoothing as well so Korean skincare is a big deal guys it's like a big deal this one again has like a pump packaging I can see this really being tacky and sticking my foundation down. Wow. It feels, I almost want to say it feels like glue, <laughs> like a thinner glue, but 
Yeah, that's gonna grip. Oh god, that's gonna grip foundation. I can already see this. I I I have high hopes for you, sir. Very nice. It says here a true multitasking makeup gripper that combines a morning mask, lift and treatment, and primer all in one. Which is probably why I picked it. Yeah, that is exactly why I picked it up. Because I want it to be hydrating, a mask and a primer all in one. And it says a unique jelly texture helps to quickly and effectively penetrate in the skin to deliver moisture for depleted skin while firming the skin upon gentle patting creating a smooth flawless canvas for makeup. Translating from Korean to English doesn't always go that seamlessly so that's what it said there but I am excited for you. I didn't try it even before. I should have tried it already. Oh my god. That's a good one. Oh, here is the killer of the whole haul. Here is the guy that I discovered that I'm in love with and everybody must try this. This is the one thing that I will say run out and get. And I mentioned this in my recommendations video. It is the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. I picked up one from friends and family, fell in love, picked up a backup. You know it's real when you pick up a backup and you ain't even nowhere near going through the other one. But this guy is so good. It's, let me read what it says on here. It says the first ever anti-aging skincare finisher and makeup primer in one. You ain't the first because J1 has one too, hello. But anyway, it says this creamy whipped lightweight formula finishes both your skincare and makeup routine for a smooth, long lasting, radiant glow. Makeup glides on seamlessly while the subtle glow awakens the complexion and softly sculpts the face with luminous light. It is formulated with natural anti-aging powerhouse ingredients that instantly hydrate, plump, and smooth for ethereal, angelic skin. And I am so loving this product right now. It has glycerin and dimethicone as um, one of the first four ingredients. Well, two of the first four ingredients. And it has a little bit of a shimmery, pearlescent glow to it. But it doesn't really leave my skin glowy. I wouldn't say that for me, it doesn't leave it glowy. And once I apply my foundation, my foundation applies so smoothly. But not only that, it looks so good throughout the day. It looks, listen, and a lot of you guys have picked it up based on my recommendation. And this is why I don't just recommend things out my ass. Because I feel bad if I recommend something and you're like, oh my god, this is crap. I love it when I recommend something and you guys are like, yes, Tina, this is exactly what you said it would it would be and it is great. So you guys have been enjoying it and I'm so glad. If you have gotten this and you're tr using it, let me know how it's going because I love hearing feedback about things that I've been loving that you guys have been loving too. So definitely tell me. I love this, but I love that got a backup. You know it's serious when you get a backup. Now, I also grabbed... This from Glam Glow. It is their Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. Hydrate, soften, restore. So this is just a lip balm. Comes in their signature Glam Glow packaging. This is just a sphere. And it's a lip balm. What can I say, right? It has a little bit of a pepperminty smell. And I do think it has peppermint in it. Which I don't like when my balms have peppermint in it. Because peppermint actually promotes tingling and dryness in your lips. So, I wouldn't say that's the best thing to have in here, but it has sweet almond oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, what else? Castor seed oil, beeswax, I don't, oh, there goes the spearmint. So it has spearmint leaf oil in here, but I like it so far. It for sure has not replaced my Bi Terry lip balm. Like, that is my go-to love of my life. Love that, but it's not too bad and I just leave it on my makeup desk and I apply it while I'm applying my makeup in the mornings and I just use it, you know, as a quick lip balm. Now I'll stick with lip products and I have been trying liquid lipsticks left and right. Like I've been trying out the majority of brands because I want to do a top favorites of all my liquid lipsticks and tell you the formulas and brands that I love the most and also those that just fail completely. So I've been trying out different brands and trying out their liquid lipstick, especially if it's one that people have been mentioning that are really great. So I'm trying out the Ciarte Liquid Velvets. These are their moisturizing matte liquid lipsticks and it says packed with pigment and lip conditioning hyaluronic acid. So I got this shade Head Over Heels, which is this bold, bright pink. And I decided, I'm trying out, oh, that has a, 
different tip. Smells like nothing really. Smells like liquid lipstick. And we're going to try this guy out to see how I like it. I also picked up this shade. Which shade is this? Sass Pot. Which is another bold pink. But this is more of a fuchsia pink. Like a blue based pink. And this one is more of a raspberry like... I don't know, like, yeah, uh, more raspberry pink. So we're going to try these two out, and I wanted to try their bold colors because I've been picking up a lot of deeper, darker, vampy lip colors, but I also want some bright colors. I don't want to just be dark and nude. No, I'm going to want some pop of color. So I'm trying those out. I also picked up the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Peppermint Mocha Scented Liquefied Lipstick. This is the shade Candy Cane, so this is only for holiday. And I think it's, no, it's not exclusive to Sephora, but this is a bright, again, bright pink shade. And it smells like peppermint mocha. Oh, that is so good. It smells like a mint chocolate chip. So that's exactly peppermint mocha. That is good. That is a good scent. You got that good. Let me see. Did they have that as an ingredient in here? Uh, no, avocado oil. No, they have an actual perfume in here so they have a fragrance in here to give you that scent that is so nice I can't wait to see how this goes and then some other liquid lipsticks that I picked up are from Giorgio Armani these are the lip maestros intense velvet colors and these are their versions of liquid lipsticks now I picked up oh no that's not I picked up three are four miss I think I only three no I lie four don't mind me. I tried this in store. So, I went, funny story. So, I'm got Sephora, right? I went to Roosevelt Field Mall, which is our big mall on Long Island. So, I went there after school on Friday when um, the Sephora sale started, the VIB Rue sale started, and the players crowded us around like it was packed to the brim and I was just trying out products in store I was gonna order online so I could get my Ebates my Ebates link is below you can check that out that gives me money plus you money so it's win-win you get a sign-on bonus and I also got a sign-on bonus for referring you so help a girl out and help yourself out to some bonuses but Ebates you get a rebate for your purchases so me that got out of online anyway right Cause if I make a big purchase like this this is the perfect time to get 4% back which is typically the rebate um, for Sephora. So I was saving 20% plus getting 4%. So it's like saving 24%. Anyway, so I'm going down a swatch, right? I'm over Georgia Armani. I swatch them liquid lipstick something. This girl decide that she ever come. So I'm in front of the thing. So the thing is right here, right? And I'm swatching and I'm right here. She decides that she ever reach fear and over like this. In my face now, like this. And I will come reach over she not say excuse, she not say sorry, she not say nothing, she just an over. So I'm a bouncer an. I say, so I'm a bouncer, right? The an come again. My bounce is again. I say, I. You can say excuse me. If you want to get in and you see that I'm blocking you, all you have to do is say excuse me. So she gone, she, she walk off because my face, listen, my resting face is not something to play with. And I was damn serious too. I'm like, you're not gonna be rude to me, right? So she come back, no, no, and she come back on the other side. Terry again. So I'm gonna push her this time. I know, don't, I, I don't promote violence, guys, but if somebody's being outright rude to me, I don't put up with it. So I'm gonna shove her. I'm gonna shove her, right? I'm gonna push her down, but I'm gonna shove her out of the way. I'm a, like, I did one of these. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna check her. And then she looked at me, and I'm like, listen. Listen, I'm gonna repeat myself. If you wanna pass by me, if you wanna get something, say excuse me. And she goes, oh, excuse me. So I said, no, 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 no. You don't end it like that, where's the please? So she stand up there, she's like, excuse me. I said, please, and I said, okay. You see how easy that was? You could have said that all along and we wouldn't have had this. We wouldn't have had this situation. I was ready to throw down in Sephora, guys. Can you imagine me fighting in Sephora? Oh, that would have been so bad, but I was not here for it. You are not going to do that because there was no reason. Because everybody that I passed, I was like, excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Like, I have manners. You're going to learn some. If your mother never teach you, my dear Sephora for teacher. Anyway, the lit maestro. <laughs> the 
that's I'm terrible I'm a terrible person I'm okay with it so the lip maestros I picked up the shade 200 which is a rosy nude 202 which is a lighter nude you see and then 501 is a pinky shade and then 402 is their signature red shade well no 400 is their signature 402 is a bright bold in your face red love these colors and I love the formula so I'm excited to try these out guys even though I'm in the fight I create beer excitement in a Sephora and I'm gonna lock me out and tell me I can't come back there what a thing in my life but my name I gotta deal with it tonight, my name I gotta deal with it. And in my last haul video, I did pick up a couple of the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks because someone had mentioned to me that they're a good formula and that they like them. And I really shouldn't have trusted that because that was the first liquid lipsticks they were trying, so they wouldn't know the best formulas out there. And these weren't truly the best formulas. They're not bad at all, and I did want to try them, so I wasn't completely disappointed, but they aren't the very best formula. And Huda is an Instagram um, influencer. She's also, uh, I think she does YouTube as well, doesn't she? Yes, she does. And she came out with her own line. So I'm okay with supporting somebody who seems to be very positive as well. And she seems to be positive, but I'm not getting that um, textured eyeshadow palette. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I swatched that in store. It was in the Sephora that I was in. The matte eyeshadows felt so thin without any substance to them. They just dust it off and then the textured eyeshadows, I'm just not getting it. For $65, no. If it was $35, I would have like, oh, alright, let me try it out. But $65, honey, no. No, no. So, anyway, she debuted these sets right before the VIB sale started. These are her lip contour sets. And I'm actually wearing one of them now. They have two miniature liquid lipsticks in there and then one of her lip pencils. And I'm wearing the shade Vixen. This is the Vixen Lip Pencil and then this is the Vixen Liquid Lip. That's what I'm wearing now. And it took a couple of layers for the opacity to build up. And they're very thin. They're almost liquidy watery. So be careful. Like I was like, oh God, my lips please don't run it over. I cannot. But the liner that I placed down kind of held them in place like a barrier. And the liner was actually really nice. It glided on beautifully and it had great pigmentation. So I'm going to try out these shades. And I picked up the deeper shades because the lighter shade that I picked up before was not doing it for me. So I wanted to try out these deeper shades. So this one was Vixen and Famous. And then the other set that I picked up is Trendsetter and Bombshell. And these are her nudes. So I think I have a good set of colors to try out from this brand so I can include that in my liquid lipstick lineup. We're done with lips. Let's go ahead and deal with concealer. So I picked up two um, corrector shades. I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Corrector. This one is in the shade R50. So this is the deep orange shade and they have added deeper shades to the HD concealer lineup. Perfect because the shades that I had before we're just way too light like I didn't do a review or a swatch for them because there was no way any of us could have used them without looking like the reverse raccoon and I don't promote that on my channel I'm not gonna promote doing the NC 10 on their eyes when you're NC 50 I don't play that so I'm not gonna promote that but they release deeper shades so if you were interested in trying them out they have deeper shades I didn't pick up any of the actual concealer shades, I just picked up the corrector shade because I wanted to try out the corrector. Now I also picked up the Bright Future Gel Serum Corrector shade from Sephora. I have the peach shade, which is way too light, but I can mix it into brighten up um, like concealers and stuff. But I wanted an actual corrector shade, so I got the, the orange, which is, ow! Just lick myself another eye. You see? God no like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is the orange shade, which is meant for deep complexion. So. Can't wait to try that out as well. I also picked up a backup of my M650 cookie shade from Makeup Forever. It's just my favorite um, blending transition shade. And I have hit pan. I am so upset. Because when you hit pan, it's like it takes you a while to get to pan. But once you hit pan, it's like it's all downhill from there. <laughs> You're going nowhere fast. And alright, so here's what happened. I picked up the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Undetectable Luminizer in the shade number two, which is the bronze shade. So they have two shades, 
This one is the bronze shade. And then I got a PR package and I actually got both of the shades. So I have the pink one as well and I had bought the bronze one. So I have the bronze one to give to one of my friends. So here's the pink one and the bronze one. And these are from their duos that they had before. Where is it? Do I have it handy? I don't think I have it handy. But they had the duo with the bronzer and then the highlight shade. And everybody was going nuts about the highlight shades in the palette. So in the duo. So they actually went ahead and did them in singles. So these are so beautiful, guys. Absolutely love them. So I'm happy that they sent me one as for PR. And then I have one to give to a friend for Christmas. Isn't that great? Like, I was buying it for myself anyway, like, PR be damned, I'm jumping ahead, I'm jumping the gun, I'm getting it. So, I'm glad that they sent me that. So, that is great. So, if you're lighter skin tone, go for the pink one, or if you just like light pink, go for the light pink. But if you're deeper skin tone, go for the bronze one. The, the shimmery pink one is just too harsh on our darker skin tones. Now, keeping with highlighters, oh, oh my god, people. Let's discuss, okay? I went in store. Like I said, I'm in store. I'm trying to check out products to see what's going on, like what's available. Hello there. I grabbed the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Saw these online, and I love the foundation. So I have the Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I love it. The shade mesh that I have in this is fantastic, and it's a radiant foundation without being dewy. So I love that. It's radiant and glowy without being dewy and dry and, and too, you know, dry, not dry, oily and greasy upon me, right? Because I have oily skin. So they have the powder, and I'm like, say no more. I went in store. I was like, okay, so they're sheer perfecting powders, and it says the translation into, I believe, French is ambiance. So I'm like, oh, doing it's a modern pressed powder that sets, perfects, and finishes, leaving skin with a diffused, subtle, luminous glow. So it's a setting, it's a finishing powder, right? What does this remind you of? This is so <laughs> the hourglass ambient powders, guys, but these are in skin tone finishes. And I grab Shade number three, which is too light for me, so what I'm gonna do is use that as a highlight. And then I grab shade number four, which is more of an all-over setting powder. And you can add a glow to your powder, to your face, without a shine. Like, these are satin finished, like baked powders, like the Hourglass Ambient Powders, finely milled, really smooth and beautiful. And you have different skin tone shades, so you can go ahead gonna get a nice luminous candle glow finish and I think that that these are one of my favorite products as well from the haul so that primer from Lo um, Josie Marin plus these candle glow powders so so fantastic right beautiful and then of course I grabbed my a backup of my Clinique acne solutions BB cream I did mention that I was gonna get a backup of that because I love that guy. I also grabbed this guy. It is the Ellipse Blender from Makeup Forever. It's just their sponge, and I have one already that I've been using. I really love it's it's shaped like this, right? I really love it for setting my face with powder, and it gets under the eyes because of that little angle right there, and it gets right up against the nose, and it's just good for pressing powder into the skin. So I really love that, and you can use it for foundation. It's really soft. It doesn't expand like a beauty. What is that? It doesn't expand like a beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender situation. It's not trying to do beauty blender. It's trying to do its own thing. And it, the thing that it's doing, I like. So, got a backup of that because I love it. And then, and then, my get. <laughs> then I got a Sephora, what is this called? Instant Nail Polish Remover for Glitter. And it has white peach extra. I didn't know that. That's why it smells so good. But it's one of those things that has a hole in the center you dip your finger in and there's a little scrubby on it like a rough textured sponge that you can rub your finger against if you have glitter on that removes the glitter now they have a original like normal polish remover one just like this without the glitter I prefer to get the glitter one because it has that extra oomph and the extra thing for just remove off the thing so I've been loving this I have like I'm, gonna, I'm embarrassed to say this but I have like five of them over there in the corner, this is my backup. I'm reserving this for when those go crazy because <laughs> they are so filled with glitter, guys. They're a mess. So when I put my finger in, 
I get a coating of crust on my finger. So I'm just slowly going through them until I can't deal with the gook anymore because the, the nail polish that you remove stays in there. So it gets really nasty and goopy. So I'm just using them right now, but I have my backup because I had to get one. I had to get it. And then I did mention this in the recommendations video as well. This is the Estee Edit Gritty and Glow Magnetic Eye and Face Palette. Now, you can't buy these separately. They do come as a set of two. And you have the Gritty Eye Palette, which is in a silver glitter packaging. And this is not textured. It's just glittery and beautiful. And the eyeshadow... This is the eye palette? That's not the eye palette. I don't know. No, this is the highlight palette, the face palette. So, no, you can use this as eye and face products. Let's be clear on that because I think that's misleading that I'm saying. But these are like the highlight face products. So you'd use these as glowy blush toppers, highlighters, bronzers, shimmery colors. You can use them as eyeshadows as well. And these are more of the neutral shades. There are no matte shades in here. You have shimmery, glittery shades. And this reminds me of the Anastasia Glow Kit. No? Yes, it does. And I like this over the Anastasia one because of the texture of them. They're not chunky, glittery like the Anastasia Glow Kit. That is something that I am not picking up. I'm not even interested in it. And here's another funny thing. They sent me this as PR as well. So I already bought it and I had it. So it's another Christmas gift that I can give to one of my friends or one of my family members <laughs> that are into makeup. But I received this as PR and I'm like, thank you very much because it's actually a really great palette and I bought this myself with the friends and family sale and these have shimmery chunky eyeshadows and some more like beautiful sultry smoky jewel tone shades so this one is another one that I am so excited about and it's actually not a bad price at all for both of the palettes so good one to try out Speaking of palettes, I did grab the Anastasia and Beverly, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Mario palette. This is the master palette by Mario. That's what they're calling it. I should call it that as well. But this just has neutral, sultry shades that are signature Mario. And I did a swatch of this already. And I did a, a video on my, um, I mean a picture and a little bit of a review on my Instagram if you wanted to check that out. But all in all, they're beautiful shadows they have great pigmentation they're smooth they're blendable they're creamy the color selection is what is going to make or break it for you these are everyday shades you're not going to get like a unique look each time you use the palette it's not a palette that is just going to be oh i can get 10 different looks and they're going to look completely different these this palette is going to give you a handful of looks that you can repeat over and over again they're easy because they just blend together nicely, but you're not going to see a great differentiation in shades. But surprisingly, on my skin tone, they actually show up significantly different. I thought they were going to just be one color throughout the whole palette. No, they actually show up differently on my skin tone. So definitely recommend you check that out. You're going to have to grab that in store because it's sold out online. If you want to get your hands on it, get your hands on it now because it is limited edition. Now... I mentioned also to get some Viseart palettes if you were interested and I did pick up two of the palettes. I picked up their face palettes because I have all the eyeshadow palettes. This one is the, which one is this? Does it even say? The Highlight and Sculpting palette. And it has three sculpting shades or three, what they want to call sculpting shade. That ain't gonna sculpt nothing for me. And then three highlight shades. So I'm interested in seeing what their face products are like what their face formula is like because so far all I've experienced from them are their eyeshadow products so I'm gonna try this guy out let you guys know what I feel I grabbed the blush palette in orange violet violet Vi violet 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 it's I didn't want to get the other ones because it was a pink and a Carl one that I was like oh my god that looks so beautiful but I knew it was going to be too light for me like the colors looked already too light but then I was worried about the violet shades too if they were going to look too bruisey on my skin because violet you know it's going to look like a bruise but these orange shades look there orange on deeper skin guys is heaven so I'm excited again to try these out I will try them out let you know what I think I'm trying to get the review palette um videos up for you guys because 
you guys are interested in those, right? And it's so, it's, I'm getting so behind on my videos, it's a mess. Now I grabbed a couple of products from Surat because one of my friends, Anika, recommended me. She was like, get Sur Surat. And I'm like, you know what? Surat is one of those really highly priced products that, brands that I'm just like, no way, I'm not buy you, and I bought it on sale. Look pan the little piece of eyeshadow we're coming out of the box. Hello, and this are $20. Look on it. Lick a piece of lick a, like, really? I mean, it's 0 0.06 ounces, so it's not like it's that little. It's a makeup for no, not make makeup fervor, it's bigger. So it's like uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow. So, I mean, the price, I guess, for the amount of product is not that bad, but then you have to buy this, and it comes in this little something. It's not individually packaged. Not re I mean, you can keep it, because I'm keeping it like that, or you can buy the palette and put them in. And I did buy, like, five more of these, and I bought the palette. I'm gonna return it so fast. Listen, them go back. They were not worth talking about. They are thinner. They're nice. They're sophisticated. They're but they're a thinner formula, and I like a more dense eyeshadow. That's I need body in my eyeshadow. You know what I mean? I need body and shape and vigor. I don't need no straight. No, I don't need it. So a flat body eyeshadow. And I was like, no, I'm good. And I only kept the, this dark shade here. It's brown noir. It's a dark brown, and I only kept it because I can do an all over smoky brown eye with this. That's the only one I kept. And then these are their, what are they called? The prismatic eyes. And these have the duo. So they have a cream product on the bottom. This one is, which one is this one? Scandal eyes. And then a shimmery product on the bottom of that. What do I say? Upon the bottom, one upon the top, the cream upon the top, and the eyeshadow upon the bottom. So you're supposed to use them as a duo, and there are a number of brands that have similar products to these, and I'm not sure that this is necessarily worth it to me, because the cream product is very thin, very light in pigmentation, and then the actual eyeshadow is very thin again. It's glittery, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, but it's not, it doesn't have the body that I need from it to really be worth it and these are 38 freaking dollars so these might be going back I might just keep one of them or return all of them they're just to me for 38 dollars you better be coming with something nice and solid but them I could have steer them really could have steer for true I'm not telling a lie um I don't know like they're cute enough but for that price and you have so many on the market that do the same thing and do it better it's just no no mm -mm. so those are the products that I got no 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 that's a lie I have one more thing one more thing I got this brush here from it cosmetics it is the heavenly skin bye bye pores brush and it they sent me they did send me one of their but where where is it this is the brush this is the heavenly skin cc plus skin perfecting brush which was meant to be used with your skincare products and it just felt really soft and nice and i really loved how it felt so i had to pick this guy up this like i this one is the bye bye pores powder brush the 701 and look how large and in charge this brush is i just i had to get my hands on it obviously i used it already I don't know yet how I feel about it because I don't want to use it necessarily for foundation because I don't feel like it would but I'll try it though with foundation you know I'm gonna try it with foundation but I used it with powder it was okay it was it's nice and solid so I really love how it looks and I love how soft it is I just haven't used it enough to say oh my god it's so fetch right so we'll see how that one goes but that is everything that I picked up from the Sephora sale, the VIB sale. I picked up a ton of hair products, as you guys can tell, and not so many makeup items, but I have a ton of primers to try, and I have some new goodies to check out, so I will let you know how some of them fare. I almost want to do a haul review where I'll pick out a few of the products and do a review on them in one video. So. I don't know like I have so many ideas for videos guys but I don't have the time because I have school and work and with everything that's going on these days in the US especially with the racial tensions and just 
the negativity that's in the air and with our new president elect that still I I am still in like this state of shock and my relationships with people have been so strained and I'm experiencing like a different side of people and the negativity and hatred that is just seeping out of people's pores these days it is intense and I'm just not in a positive headspace all the time and I'm not trying to let it get me down or anything but at the same time I'm outraged for my race I'm outraged for this country and I'm, a, I'm outraged for my gender as well and it's not just me there are many people that are affected and it's not just my race not just my gender I mean there's so many issues going on in this country and so much negativity and people are getting attacked and the violence and it's awful and I hate it I'm trying to get out of that but at the same time I don't want to get out of it because I don't want to get comfortable and feel like oh all is well no it's not it's 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 we're at a pivotal time in our country we're in a pivotal time in our history and we need to stand up so I'm not gonna just let it rest and just oh sweep it under the rug just accept it no I'm not just gonna accept it I'm gonna speak out about it and there's no one in this world that's gonna tell me oh it already happened so just accept no because what you guys don't understand is yes the people spoke the election is gone the votes are in and the majority of people voted for a misogynistic racist asshole that is breeding and cultivating a spirit and an environment filled with hatred and racism in this country and it's bigotry and it's awful and Yes, I get it, but I'm not gonna sit around and pretend like it doesn't bother me and just be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna go with it because, you know, it happened. Like, it's easy for people to say that when they're not directly affected. Like, it's easy to have those blinders on when you're living with privilege or perceived privilege and you, you're not directly affected. And I'm not gonna be one of those people who, because it doesn't affect me directly necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis, that I'm not gonna speak out about it because it's injustice. There are a lot of people that are being attacked and a lot of people that are being discriminated against and I won't sit here and be blinded by the somewhat perceived privilege that I have because I'm not like surrounded by that hatred day in and day out but trust me it's there and people do not hesitate to call me nigger real quick so I know it's there and I'm not gonna just sleep because I am in a better position than a lot of people are and th whatever uh, you know what I'm gonna still come on make videos and give us an escape but I'm not gonna turn a blind eye. And that's what I wanted to say for now. So stay safe guys, hold your loved ones close, and I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, what you doing? You look tired. I'm exhausted, babe. <laughs> this to a day. What'd you do today? Uh, legs this morning, mm -hmm. and then back in buys just now. Nobody never said I forgot to gym two times. Yeah. Really? But Show them a shirt, babes. Junior, show up. I say, yo, show them what we doing? Show them the back. Yay! Really, babes? It's okay. not really.